Welcome to my channel RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a drug named methoxypolyethylene glycolipoietin beta injection. Mircera. About this medication is used to treat anemia in people with long-term serious kidney disease, chronic kidney disease. It works by signaling the bone marrow to make more red blood cells. Methoxypolyethylene glycolipoietin beta helps to reverse anemia. It also helps to reduce the need for blood transfusions. This medication is very similar to the natural substance in your body, erythropoietin, that prevents anemia. Medical Use Anemia due to chronic kidney disease. It is indicated for the treatment of anemia associated with chronic kidney disease, CKD, in adult patients on dialysis and adult patients not on dialysis. Pediatric patients 5 to 17 years of age on hemodialysis who are converting from another erythropoiesis stimulating agent, ESA, after their hemoglobin level was stabilized with an ESA. What is? Anemia Anemia is a condition in which you lack enough healthy red blood cells to carry adequate oxygen to your body's tissues. Having anemia, also referred to as low hemoglobin, can make you feel tired and weak. Contraindications Uncontrolled hypertension Known hypersensitivity to the active substance or any of the excipients Special precautions Monitor your blood pressure regularly while taking this medication. Inform your doctor if you notice symptoms of very high blood pressure such as severe headache, problems with your eyesight, nausea, vomiting, or fits, seizures. Serious heart problems, such as heart attack or heart failure and stroke. In place of emergency treatment for anemia, RBC transfusions. For the treatment of anemia due to cancer chemotherapy. Pure red cell aplasia, PRCA, occurs after methoxypolyethylene glycolipoietin beta treatment or other erythropoietin protein drugs. Pediatric contraindicated use in greater than 5 years. Pregnancy, this medication should be used only when clearly needed. Lactation, it is unknown if this medication passes into breast milk. Elderly, no adjustment of the starting dosage is required. Side effects, common side effects of this injection. Diarrhea, nasopharyngitis. Serious side effects include high blood pressure, seizures, itching, skin rash, shortness of breath, wheezing to breathe nausily, dizziness, fainting. Swelling around your mouth or eyes. Fast pulse or sweating. Vascular axis thrombosis, blood clots in your dialysis axis. Thrombocytopenia. Deficiency of platelets in the blood. Thrombosis, uncommon. Warnings. Erythropoiesis stimulating agents. ESA, increase the risk of death, myocardial infarction, stroke, venous thromboembolism, thrombosis of vascular axis and tumor progression or recurrence. Chronic kidney disease. In controlled trials, patients experienced greater risks for death, serious adverse cardiovascular reactions and stroke when administered ESA to target a hemoglobin level of greater than 11 GDL. No trial has identified a hemoglobin target level, ESA dose, 
or dosing strategy that does not increase these risks. Use the lowest dose of this injection sufficient to reduce the need for red blood cell RBC, transfusions. Cancer This injection is not indicated and is not recommended for the treatment of anemia due to cancer chemotherapy. A dose ranging study of this injection was terminated early because of more deaths among patients receiving this injection than another ESA. ESA has shown shortened overall survival and or increased risk of tumor progression or recurrence in clinical studies in patients with breast, non-small cell lung, head and neck, lymphoid and cervical cancers. Frequently Asked Questions Is Mircera and Epogen the same? No, while both medications work well to treat anemia caused by CKD, Mircera is not the same as Epoitin Alpha, Procrit, Epogen. Epoitin Alpha, Procrit, Epogen acts like the hormone we have in our body, whereas Mircera activates the same receptor as the hormone. Avoid alcohol consumption while taking injections, it might cause increased dizziness and sleepiness. Dosage Hepatic impairment, no adjustment of the starting dose nor dose modification rules are required. Individualize Do not increase the dose sooner than once every four weeks. Avoid frequent dose adjustments. Give as subcutaneous, abdomen, arm, or thigh, or intravenous injection greater than 17 years, dialysis, hemoglobin less than 10 GDL initially 0.6 micrograms per kilogram as a single injection once every two weeks, interrupt or reduce dose if hemoglobin approaches or exceeds 11 GDL. Once stabilized, Double the dose and give it once monthly. Non-dialysis, hemoglobin less than 10 GDL, RBC transfusion likely plus reduced risk of aluminization and or transfusion related goals initially 0.6 micrograms per kilogram as a single injection once every two weeks, interrupt or reduce dose if hemoglobin greater than 10 GDL. Once stabilized, double the dose and give it once monthly. Reduce dose by greater than or equal to 25% if hemoglobin rises greater than 1 GDL in any two-week period. Increase dose by 25% if an inadequate response, less than 1 GDL increase, after 4 weeks. Discontinue if response not improved after a 12-week escalation period. Conversion from Epoitin Alpha EA EA dose under 8000 units per week, 60 micrograms every two weeks or 120 micrograms monthly. EA dose 8000 to 16000 units per week, 100 micrograms every two weeks or 200 micrograms monthly. EA dose over 16,000 units per week, 180 micrograms every two weeks or 360 micrograms monthly. Conversion from Darby Poetin Alpha Darby Poetin Alpha dose under 40 micrograms per week, 60 micrograms every two weeks or 120 micrograms monthly. Darby Poetin Alpha dose 40 to 80 micrograms per week, 100 micrograms every two weeks or 200 micrograms monthly. Darby Poetin Alpha dose over 80 micrograms per week, 180 micrograms every two weeks or 360 micrograms monthly. Children dosage. Individualize. Do not increase the dose sooner than once every four weeks. Avoid frequent dose adjustments. Give as intravenous injection once every four weeks. Less than five years, not established. 
5 to 17 years, conversion from epoitin alpha, multiply by 4 to the previous weekly epoitin alpha dose, units, per 125. Conversion from darbapotin alpha, multiply by 4 to the previous weekly darbipoitin alpha dose MCG per 0.55. Reduce dose by greater than or equal to 25% if hemoglobin rises greater than 1 GDL in any two-week period. Increase dose by 25% if an inadequate response less than 1 GDL increase after 4 weeks, discontinue if response not improved after a 12-week escalation period. Mechanism of Action Methoxypolyethylene glycolipoietin beta stimulates erythropoiesis by injection with the erythropoietin receptor on progenitor cells in the bone marrow. As the primary growth factor for erythroid development, the natural hormone erythropoietin is produced in the kidney and released into the bloodstream in response to hypoxia. In responding to hypoxia, the natural hormone erythropoietin interacts with erythroid progenitor cells to increase red cell production. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.